Our game plan for tomorrow is not look for them in the videos, okay? Leave the video alone, right? It had a big, big run. Leave that alone, right? We're looking for names that had potential days that were finally coming out of the channels that are kind of ready to reclaim at least short-term supply. Maybe not macro, but short-term supply. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. I uh, hope everybody is okay. I hope everybody had a good uh, weekend. Hope everybody had a good trading day. It's Monday. I'm already fried. I'm already incredibly exhausted, but in a good way, right? In a good way. So let's talk about the tape. Uh, if you watched the weekend video, we talked about uh, the Bulls putting in a very, very good late week run. Uh, had a, a day on Friday that did do a lot of good things, right? Uh, pull up a lot of names, uh, did have a res day, but at the end of the spectrum, the one thing they did not do well was kind of give back the 50-day moving average. And if you watch the video, uh, we talked about that I wanted to give the Bulls the benefit of the doubt today. And I believe in the first two candles, we were pretty much going to see which way uh, the wind was going to blow. And when you look at a lot of charts, when you did look at a lot of charts this weekend, uh, you saw a lot of similarities. You saw a lot of names uh, that were still underneath supply that needed to confirm. Uh, you saw a lot of names that for weeks and weeks and weeks were getting really beat up and had no chance to kind of pick their head above water and those names you wanted to avoid. So when we came into uh, today's session, it was very, very important, number one, uh, to wait to kind of get that clarity, right? To wait till those channels develop. But you really had had a good game plan of names from the, you know, from your weekend research to kind of give you the clearest path to the goal line. And when we talked about uh, the weekend, some names that were very, very strong, the groups that were represented were the semiconductors. Remember, the semiconductors were, uh, again, the biggest leader for the last year or so. Really, really big moves. They let us up, they let us down, they let us back up. And if you guys remember the weekend video, we talked about that this is the only group that really, well, not the only group, this is one of the, one of the groups that have not reclaimed the 50-day moving average. And the Qs were so heavily represented by biotechs and semiconductors that if we were going to get a move back up, we were going to get a really big move up led by the semis. And very, very early, it didn't take a lot of time today. Uh, very, very early, we got our, you know, we got our green light. Okay. Uh, a lot of names woke up very, very aggressively. Uh, the Qs, you know, within the pre-market, right? Within literally the pre-market, uh, reclaimed the 50-day moving average, took out Friday's highs, and now we are in a very, very clean uh, pocket, which is incredibly good uh, if you believe in the whole bull case. And again, if you draw like this imaginary line, you'd see this whole downtrend uh, got completely uh, remounted, which is very, very good. Now, the question is, how many stocks are you going to get every single day that's going to get above supply? And if you look at a lot of charts, again, you'll see a lot of names that are still under, right? Apple is still under. Amazon uh, is still under. You know, Tesla, is, although it had a really nice move, again, we'll talk about uh, the individual pivots in a second. You know, again, it's still under macro supply. Netflix uh, as well, right? Netflix as well, still in the need max supply. But if you are, uh, if, if you are uh, a believer in sneaky channels, right? And there's a lot of sneaky channels, you can still do very, very well in those channels without these stocks reclaiming supply. And I think going into tomorrow's session, as good as we close today, I, again, I don't think anybody can, can make an argument that we had a bad close. Um, you know, now your job is not to look at the stocks that had their really, really big breakouts. Again, are, are there really good continuation channel potential for tomorrow? Sure. I mean, look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA had this really monster three-day run. Are you really going to put your attention on NVIDIA tomorrow? Probably not, right? Probably not. There's a lot of better value out there. Are you really going to turn around? Uh, and even though Facebook had a really good uh, confirmation channel today, had a really good confirmation, is this the best bet for your money? Well, maybe, been. maybe, right? Maybe considering it still uh, hasn't tested its earnings highs, but names like RBLX that broke out a couple of days ago had monster, monster runs, even a name like AMAT. And by the way, I think this is the first time I traded AMAT today 
probably in the last 15 years. Okay, I don't remember. Matter of fact, I was on the phone with a buddy of mine, and I asked him, I go, when was the last time you think we traded AMAT? And he started laughing. You know, we've been tr trading north of 22 years now. So a lot of names are, are represented in strong channels, okay, AMAT, NVIDIA, uh, you know, all the names, LRCX in the semiconductor space. They've been very, very strong. Even names like MU are trying to get above. Not, they're nowhere near what these, those other names are, but they're at least trying to get above channels. So our game plan for tomorrow is not look for the videos, okay? Leave the video alone, right? It had a big, big run. Leave that alone, right? We're looking for names that had potential days that were finally coming out of the channels that are kind of ready to reclaim at least short-term supply, maybe not macro, but short-term supply and leaving all the other names kind of out of the way. So for example, you know, even though Roku, right, had a really big run in the last few weeks, this is the first close over the 50-day moving average, right? I like Roku. I mean, look at Microsoft, right? Microsoft first close, even though it's not above supply, but this is the first close reclaiming this, this support. So you have room there. Uh, names, for example, like a Match.com that usually most people wouldn't even look at, but Match does have tendencies for going on pretty decent sided runs. And again, if you can see, you got rejected here, got rejected here, same place. If it starts rejecting the channel, there's a, you know, there's a lot of room in the trade. So there's definitely still names, I would say most of the market, right? Most of the technology names that are still out there uh, that have a lot of potential. The key is to do your homework, right? You have, you have to identify them, uh, do your homework, put them, you know, put them in front of you. And when they do confirm those channels uh, based on how the queues close today, right? Based on uh, now that we are two out of the last three days above the 50-day moving average, it should give you a good amount of confidence that we should be going higher. Now, look, is it possible we have a res day after today's session? Of course, look, every single day, there's no such thing as we're definitely going up tomorrow. It's, it's, it's stupid. If that was the case, just buy every single penny worth of your buying power, get long. And if you have that much conviction, it doesn't work that way. We've seen the greatest closes stall out. We've seen the greatest closes the next day reverse. We've seen the greatest closes have rest days. And then, yeah, believe it or not, we actually had great closes actually can actually continue the next day. So everything's on the table, uh, obviously, right? Duh. So we have to actually see what happens. But from the research, from the data collection that we've seen, the market does look good for tomorrow. There's a lot of names that I still like. And the moral of the story is if we do confirm, and again, that's the very biggest if, if we do confirm, you have to be ready with some really good uh, potential buy. So let's talk about them. Um, Amazon, I, I kind of like Amazon, right? Uh, maybe it's a day or two away. But if Amazon wakes up and it starts catching up to Google, you know, Google had a really, really great run, right? Google had a really, really good run. You can see what happened to Google after it took out supply. So if Amazon could wake up in the next few days and start taking out supply, I mean, look how much room. You got a three, 400 point move potential on this thing. So you have to be a little patient with these things, but this is the names that you definitely want to start looking at. Um, even a name like Apple, again, maybe it doesn't wake up tomorrow, but at least you have a definitive channel, right? You have a definitive channel here that's gotten rejected several times. Maybe this thing re you know, reclaims it. There were uh, some 130, 135 weeklies for this this week, for next week as well. So you're getting at least getting the option flow. Uh, Tesla had a really big move today, you know, really, really big move today. Uh, and again, we'll get to the pivots in a second. Took out the 597 level, took out the 606 level, and now is trading right to this area here, almost to the 620, 630. There was a lot of call buying coming in as well. Now, now has this become a phenomenal 600 star play for tomorrow? No, but there's still continuation and there's still areas to reclaim if indeed bigger out of the money call buyers start uh, making some bets. So there are areas of interest that we'd like for tomorrow. There's definitely areas of interest that we want to avoid, like in the videos, like the RBLXs of the world, they already had their big runs. And most important part is wait and take a channel uh, by channel. So let's talk about uh, today's pivots. Um, just a, a lot of names, uh, a lot of names, a lot of names that uh, we talked about over the weekend, a lot of names we've talked about in the past, and they finally started uh, to confirming channels. Uh, Boeing, not a big move yet, but uh, Boeing uh, 237 needs to build. Here was Boeing, not a big move yet. So 237 uh, went to like 238 and a half, closed above the 237 level. It looks like 42 is on deck for this thing if the market continues. Uh, RBLX, congratulations guys for all you guys, not only who had it from Friday, right? This was Friday's pivot. RBLX for 500 times, 78 uh, needs to build and you know, a huge move. Today's notes uh, needs to reclaim 
uh, 85 for another move upside. Here was RBLX, right? Here was RBLX, took out the 85, went all the way to 90. Remember all those call buyers that came in for the 90s, 95s, and 100s? They're starting to get paid there as well. So really big move there. Uh, GameStop, right? 180 needs to build. Uh, here was GameStop. A lot of names have really big moves today. And again, all you had to do is focus on names that you wanted to. Here's the 180 whole channel here. And it went right to uh, 188 and a half. Big move there uh, as well. Uh, Maxim was way too thin for me, but nice looking chart. Uh, 99, 75, 100 needs to build. Been in this range since January. Here was Maxim. Right. Here was Maxim. It took out this whole $100 channel and finally went to like 101. Again, it really needs to, a new base above 101 to get going. Way too thin for me uh, on Maxim. Uh, Facebook, huge move on Facebook. 320 uh, needs to build. Here was Facebook, right? Took out the 320 channel right here and traded all the way up to 326. Again, you can see how big, big moves on, on beta land was today. Beyond got upgraded today. Uh, needs 112 needs to build. I didn't I didn't do this uh, Beyond trade. It was it, it started run, running pre market and I just I lost interest on it. So it took out this whole 12 area. If you got some congratulations, went to uh, 120. I missed this one. Uh, Beyond had a big move there as well. Uh, Nvidia just absolutely exploded. Uh, it reclaimed Friday's news of of a four for one split. 609, 610 needs to build. Here was NVIDIA, right? Took out Friday's highs of 610. Just went absolutely nuts all the way uh, to 630. And letter U, letter U, 95 needs to build. Uh, again, you know, continuation from Friday's uh, 93 pivot. Went to 97. That's exactly what we talked about, right? Went right to the 97 area, which we talked about, right? Could get to 97 supply. That's where it was. Uh, IQ never got there as well. And again, again, these are these are the pre-market notes. Listen, Monday morning, let the let the trends develop. Let you know the let the pivots play out and see what happens here. So nice moves there. AMAT was actually my first trade of the day. Um, I minis, minimized the crap out of it because I didn't think AMAT was going to turn into Nvidia. Now I know, and if that's the case, then we definitely have a new beta uh, player on the horizon. But here is the 131. Right, took out the 131. Uh, oops, wrong stock. I knew it looked funny. Uh, here, sorry about that. Right. So here is NVIDIA right here. Excuse me, AMAT. What's in the video? Uh, AMAT right here, 130.67, 130.68. It took out the 131. It got long. And this thing just went nuts. This thing went to almost 136. I still like it. I think it gets to 140. But again, I minimize it because again, I haven't traded uh, AMAT in probably 15, 20 years. So huge move there. If you got the, the duration of the move, congratulations. Nice spike there. Nice push there. Take on the way there. Nice two-day push there. Commercial for NordVPN right there. Uh, GameStop take on the way. And Tesla went nuts as well. Uh, 597 rejected twice daily. Needs to build. Weekly buyers started coming in one after another after another. Uh, off the 630 area, 597 was the big spot here. So here was Tesla. Right? It took out 597 high here. 597 is the high here. And it went all the way up to 615. I think there's one. I think there's one more push in this thing in the next day or so. So let's keep an eye on that. Amazon, I'm still watching. Very very big level here that uh, didn't get confirmed yet, but I'm still watching there. Uh, GameStop 91 supply traded to 89. Uh, another commercial for NYU. Way too many ads here, right? Way too many ads. Uh, any close above 603 is good. Again, went to 6 615. And that's about it. So the moral of the story is, you can see I'm tired, I'm exhausted. It's, it's only Monday. Uh, but I think, look, we have a, a pretty good take now, okay? We have to be uh, very, very patient for everything to get kind of lifted uh, up one by one. Again, if you guys remember the first move on the queues, they were all the way back to uh, this whole channel here. It took a while for everything to wake up. But again, like I say every single day, if you're doing your chart work and you're doing your chart work properly, and again, I, I really uh, emphasize, especially if you're a new trader, again, even if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, keep looking at charts every night. Eventually, something is going to click and muscle memory. It's all about muscle memory and repetition. But the moral of the story is the market is getting better. The queues did reclaim big numbers. The semiconductors reclaim really good numbers. And if we can get a good follow through, maybe everything and actually more stocks will start showing us some love. Guys, have a great night. God bless. I'm going to go get some rest. I'll see you all.